This jellyfish may seem pretty dumb. It appears to float around aimlessly with no care in the world, simply stinging and capturing any plankton which venture inside its tentacles. But amazingly, even spineless invertebrates have hidden abilities in thought. Take the octopus, for example. Two thirds of its neurons are not in its head, but in its limbs, which are capable of incredible perception, changes in movement, and camouflage. The limbs communicate with the one third of the octopus brain in its head, and the brain in the head acts as a sort of central processor. In fact, octopuses have over 500 million neurons if those in its limbs and head are counted, almost as many as a cat. Octopuses evolved with larger brains on a totally different evolutionary pathway than the ones humans took but they show some personality, are great problem solvers and predators, and their intelligence has researcher Peter Godfrey Smith saying, this is probably the closest we will come to meeting an intelligent alien. So what about other invertebrates? Well, some have what resembles the central brain, like earthworms, but others, like insects, also have the neurons scattered around their body. Because they still have neurons, invertebrates appreciate some of the perks of processing information without the energy expenditure it takes to sustain a large central brain. The box jellyfish, infamous for its terrible sting, only has a small number of neurons in its tentacles and eyes. Even without anything resembling a brain, the box jellyfish can navigate to its mangrove habitat and sense light with its 24 eyes. Moreover, the individual minds of insects may not seem all that impressive, but collectively they can be quite impressive. Termites, for example, which are coordinated by signals from other termites, build mega mansions fully equipped with stability, ventilation, and practicality. Mimicking the simple rules, division of tasks, and efficient transportation of insect colonies has even inspired the design of many modern companies. However, just having neurons doesn't mean a life form will be intelligent. When Sidney Brenner was able to map out all the connective neuron pathways of the C. elegans worm for the 2002 Nobel Prize, it was found that most of the worm's 302 neurons were simply for sensation and movement. After all, it is the number of extra neurons humans have, not for sensation or body maintenance, but for interpretation and reasoning that makes us special. Even so, all sorts of invertebrates, such as honeybees and sea snails, are capable of some degree of learning. The simple sea snail, which retracts its gills automatically when touched, will learn to keep its gills open if there is repeated touching and no threat. Though the question of how invertebrates suffer or feel pain is still a bit unclear, what is clear is that the beautiful diversity of mollusks, insects, worms, and many other invertebrates has made its way into the methods each use to sense and think.